Hi, this is Sherry at Smoky Mountain Maker. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute pumpkins. These are actually made out of little socks. So uh, this is what we're working on today. And I'm going to put these over to the side and I'm going to show you what, what uh, tools we're going to need. It's not going to be a whole lot. We're going to have to have your scissors. Of course, some socks to work with. You can use the little footies and get one pumpkin out of these. I had a craft class last night at church and with the girls, and so they've used the bottoms out of these. These were crew socks, um, so these are the top parts. So you can get two pumpkins out of crew socks. You could use knee highs. You could probably get like three pumpkins out of knee highs. You could use an old sweater, cut up the sleeves to use that. Um, you could use jeans. There's uh, just different options you could use. So this is going to be very little sewing because we have a tube. Now if you did something that you needed a tube, then you could hot glue the sides of it um, inside out and make a tube. All right, so what I'm going to do today is this cute little spider. All right, I'm going to fold this inside out since we don't have an end. Now if you had one like this where you've already got an end, you don't have to worry about making um, the bottom. You just go ahead and start stuffing on this one. But since we don't have a bottom, we're going to have to make one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a piece of crochet thread. So our tools are your sock, your crochet thread, your scissors, a large needle, some twine, yarn, jute, hemp, anything like that that you can use for, to, for your sections, and some fiber fill. Um, you can use fiber fill. You could use old clothes. Uh, just anything that you can stuff down in there to make it puffy. So we've got our thread cut here. We're going to get our needle out. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, actually, that's not going to be a long enough piece of thread. I'll use that later. Okay, bigger piece of thread. I'm going to show you a, a trick that a home ec teacher that I had back in high school showed me. So after we thread our needle, you're going to run your two sides down. Now you want your thread double for strength. Now wet your finger, take the thread and put it between your thumb and your finger and wind it around. Then what you're going to do is rub. So I'm rubbing this bottom piece right here into the top. So I'm just rubbing and it's rolling it and as I roll it, I didn't work because I was doing it slow. Okay, as I roll it, it brings it back through. It makes a knot. So we're going to pull that. See how we've got that? I'm going to do it again faster and uh, show you how it works pretty good. So there we go. Now you can just do the old traditional way and just make you a knot. So make you a loop, pull your bottom through. Um, you just want to try to keep your knot down to the bottom of the thread. That's what it makes it a little bit easier when you're doing it the other way. It keeps your knot at the bottom. All right, so I've got about three knots in this, so let's cut this off. I don't need that in my way. All right, so this is going to be for in a minute. This is how we're going to make it thicker. I'm going to use this little piece that I originally cut, and we're going to put that right here. Now, if you've got two people doing these, and it's really nice to have an extra pair of hands when you're doing this, and it's a lot more fun um, if you've got somebody doing it with you. Uh, tighten that up. Do a double knot. Okay. Now, we're going to knock. Don't even worry about cutting that off because it's not going to show. It's going to be down inside of there. Now, so now we've got a bottom. Now we're going to take our fiber fill. You want a couple of good handfuls. And we're going to stuff that down in here. Now you can stuff it as much as you want to. Um, just kind of be aware of what kind of material you're using. If you're using something like this loose weave, then you're not going to want to stuff it a whole lot or you're your white's going to start showing through. So I stuffed that one about like this, and it really looks nice. And it, you uh, don't see the stuffing in there. 
if you get it too tight, like I said, your, your white stuffing is going to show through. So I don't, uh, for instance, if I really squeeze that out, see how that is? So we don't want that. So we're just not, we're not going to sho shove a whole, whole lot in there. So that's going to look like probably a pretty good bunch right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie another knot. And this is where having a friend comes in handy uh, when we start doing this part. But you can do it yourself. You can do it by yourself. All right, we're going to need another piece of crochet thread. And I'm using the crochet thread. You can use regular thread if you want to. Um, but I feel like the crochet thread just works a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to put our needle and thread over here out of the way. Get a hold of that. And we're going to tie that off as close to the fiber feel as we can. Okay, and tie it good and tight. Get a hold of that. There we go. See, you can do it by yourself. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cut these off. Um, I'm going to make a double knot just to kind of ensure that my knot doesn't ravel out. And cut them off about a quarter of an inch from your knot. If you cut it off too close, then your knot will come out. Alrighty. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we've got this all up here. Now we're going to do the shaping. Yes. I'm going to do it like this and see if this will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our thread through here. Now, if you have a, a, a piece like this that has a looser weave, you're going to have to make a knot. And to make a knot on the bottom, uh, I would make your knot on the top. And so you would get a little bit of your sock like that. And you would pull your thread up. And where we have this tied together right here, we're going to go inside of that. And make sure we get this over here on this side. And that's going to make a knot right there. So that's going to hold our sock. Now, this particular material here, I could have not done this step. I could have just went straight through and back up, and it would have been fine. But if you got something with a big weave like this is, then you're going to have to make something to hold on. So we're going to do that. We're going to go down through here. And we're going to find about our middle. And stick our needle through there. Now this is what's going to make your shape. See how that's pulling that down and making it shaped? Then we're going to, as we're pushing that down, we're going to go back through. And we're going to hold it tight. Make it puffy. Now, this is what's going to determine how squat looking your pumpkin is. If you want a taller pumpkin, then you don't need to pull it as far. So, like this one, it's not pulled as much, and he's taller. So, I like the little squat pumpkins. So, I'm going to do him about like this. So, now, we're going to do just like we did in the beginning. We're going to go through our sock to make a loop. And as we make that loop, there we go, there's our loop. We're going to go in between the two threads. Now we're not going to go in the one. We're going to go in between the two. And we're going to make a knot. Okay? And we're going to go back through that thread. Can you see where I've got that underneath that piece of thread? And we're going to go back through our knot one more time. And this starts to tie it off. So... I like to be cautious, so we're going to do it one more time. We're going to slip under our thread. We'll have a loop. Go through our loop. And make a knot. So we've got two knots there. So that's going to hold that really good for us. So we're going to cut that off about a quarter of an inch. Get too close to your knot. Again, it's going to ravel out. All right. So we've got this going on. Now this is going to help us, I believe. Um, I've been making these and not doing that step first. So I'm going to see how this works out. I think this is going to hopefully work out a little bit easier. So I've got my twine here. And I'm going to go around this. And I'm going to figure out about how much I need. So I'd say about like that. It's going to make it easy enough to tie. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do three strings and tie them each. Or if you want to, you could do... Um, make you a tail out here and wrap it around like this. So, 
And this is a little bit, um, I kind of like this method. It makes it just a little bit easier. You've just got the one knot right here. So you can do this either way. So you can do um, whatever your skill level is. Like with the kids, it was a little bit easier to have them just tie three knots around like this and not have to worry about trying to wrap um, around the pumpkin. So tie it as tight as you want to make your little puffy sections. So this is also an advantage of doing it like this. You can just go ahead and it. So as you're holding it, you got that where you want, just put that middle finger right there to hold it while you're making your little knot here. Okay. So there we go. So there's one. Now another thing about doing it like this, you can kind of use this ends whenever we make our stem. So I think we're going to stay with that method for today because I'm going to use these stems. So you just want to kind of go around your pumpkin, make sure you have enough to tie with. So we need about like that. So about, about four to six inches larger than the circumference of your pumpkin. Now if you get one and you, you're comfortable with that, then you can just go ahead and measure you out another one and then another one. So you can go ahead and measure you three out if you want to like that. Just match them up and measure them. Okay. So, and if you're curious, um, this is about 14 inches for this particular pumpkin. Pulling it around. The other thing you get into this is you got to make sure what strings what. You'll grab the wrong string and try to tie it, but that's not really a problem. You just let it go and do another one. All right, and again, we're holding this down where it's crossing. And if you have a friend, you can help each other with this step too. So there we go. There's another one. So we've got two sections, and we're going to do another section. Now, we're going to, um, I want my knot to go over on this side on this time, just kind of balance things out. So my stem will be a little bit more centered. Okay. There we go. Now, one more knot here. So pull it tight. And this doesn't slide real bad because of the type of uh, string that it is. It's got a little bit of texture to it. So it's not real bad for sliding. Okay. So now you can see how this looks on the bottom. We don't have sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working this around and put our pumpkin more even. So we're going to make our little sections more even. See how that's already looking better? Now you can put as much twine around here as you want to. I just found that uh, the six sections looks pretty normal. So that's what we're doing. So we got the top and we're messing around with that just a little bit. So just get that stuff in where you want it. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. Now, see, I've got this thick part right here. If I leave that thick, I want to have a really thick stem up here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to cut this off. That's going to make a little bit of shorter stem, but I'm going to use these strings that I have left over to help with that. So let's just cut this right below the hem. So that it'll be thinner. You don't have to do this. You can um, leave it if you want to. On this particular one, I left it. So see how thick this stem is compared to the thinness of this stem. So, oh no, wrong one. I left it on this one. See how thick that is right there? That's because I left this part right here. So you can do it like that, or if you want to cut that off, then you're going to have a thinner stem. So, sorry about that. All right, so now I'm just going to take all of this and we're going to run it up here. Now I've got my glue and what we're going to do, and I hope I have enough twine to finish this up. I've done several projects and we're going to put this glue in on our sock. See how we're doing that? So we're just putting glue on our sock and that's going to help. Now I'm going to leave that laying down because it, uh, 
get close to empty. Now this is the messy part. So what we're going to do, see how I rub that up a little bit there to cover the edges? Now, as you're doing this around, get a hold of your end here. This is my end right here. So I've got, I've got it pinched and I'm pulling this tight. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to keep going around as I'm pulling that. Now that I've got started, it's pretty much holding itself. So what I'm going to do now is actually pull the, or pinch the stem here and go around it. And so we're wrapping this stem. Looks like we're going to have enough of the jute. Okay, so we're wrapping. Now, I've got a little bit of black showing. So there, you can scoot that down as you go, or you can go back and cover it. So I'm going to try to go ahead and just see if I can't get that scooted down right now before it gets dry. Okay. And if it doesn't bother you, then just leave it. Okay. There we go. And we're going to do some more. Like I said, I've got this pinched really tight. And we're going to keep wrapping. Now, my glue's drying where I'm holding it. So we're going to put some more glue in here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to be using some of this, but I'm going to cut this little tail off. So we're going to be using some of this to finish out our stem. So we'll keep wrapping. There we go. Come on. There we go. And we're getting up here to this part. And we're just making it smaller. Okay. Now. That looks pretty good. Now, like I said, if this bothers you, then just go back down. It's not going to hurt a thing. Go into those places that are bothering you. You might need a little bit more glue for it to stick. I don't want to put a whole lot. Just a little bit. For it to stick. And then we're just going to keep coming down through here. And we've got a couple of places we might want to cover up not bad. So I'm happy with that. All right. So I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this piece and I'll rub that down and just stick it to that. Now what I'm going to do to make it look better is curve it. Okay. So we're just curving it a little bit. Stuck to my finger. So just cover it a little bit. So that's the way a lot of times they'll kind of look because they're on the vine. All right. So, okay. So there we have our cute little pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Now, I want a little bit extra going on with him. Um, I just like a little bling on mine. So we're going to use our glue. And I've got some leaves here. This is what I'm going to be using. So, see our uh, spiders? Aren't those cute? All right. So we're going to, I'm going to kind of play with it. See what I want on here. Um, let's see. I think I want a, a green one up here, and then two of these, maybe, maybe three down here for a little bit. I want the yellow under that just for a little color. Yellow is a really dominant color. A little bit of yellow goes a long ways. So I think this is how we're going to end up doing it. So that looks pretty good to me. So let's start putting some glue on here. I'm going to put a dab of glue on these. We're going to glue these on the bottom. And stick that right there. Fix them how you want them. Okay. Now, this one right here, I think I want him to sit in there, but I want to just put a little slit on it so that it'll kind of move a little bit. So we're going to put a little glue in on this. All right, and I think I want him about right there. So there's going to be our little flat, our little leaf under there, and I want to just tuck those edges under that just a little bit. Now, if you want them to lay down more like that, then you can just put your little glue right here and actually 
tuck it on there. And that's going to stick it onto your pumpkin and have it lay down a little bit. So I think I kind of like that, kind of moved over. So I think I'm going to do all three pieces of this, like that. I kind of like that look. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so that's our pumpkin. As you can see, that didn't take very long to do. Um, actually, once we got started, it probably took, what, about 15 minutes? So you can knock a couple of these out in about half an hour. And I think they're really fun. And I think they really look cute.